9.30, um, got up, ate some Cheerios, finished the yesterday's vlog, now I'm going to go for a run, um, and it is freezing out, it is below freezing, it's 31 degrees, but I'm going to go on a run, um, I like running because it just gives me a momentum for the rest of the day, it makes me more active, so I'm going to try to get in like two miles, I think me and my friend Micah, we're going to go throw our hammocks up and like test them. Alright, there we go. Um, two miles. I just stopped. So it's 14 miles for 1437 for two miles. So that's averaging like 715 per mile. I've done better. One of my favorite things about fall driving through the leaves. Yes. Here's some more. Dun 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 dun. Don't over here, over here. Dun 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 Okay, that's pride screwing up my car. Holy shit, this is a lot steeper than I remember. Wait, no, dude, I'm going down this way. Got my hammock. He got his hammock. And so basically, we're coming down in the woods to test them out. I'm gonna throw them up, laying them, sitting them, see what they're all about. Gotta find two perfect ones. Nah, bro, I, wanna, I gotta get next to the water. Deer! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Just lasso it. His is gonna be on top of mine. Oh, hey, shit. We're just beginners. So. Yeah, we're beginners. Don't judge us. I was watching this guy on YouTube, mm -hmm. like he was talking about hammocks and stuff, mm -hmm. and just like why people should like get them. And like basically like, you know, when you go camping with a regular tent, you have to find like a flat land, you have to like find the perfect spot, but like you can just like pitch this up like anywhere, you know? You have to find the perfect tree. Yeah, perfect. I mean, but that's not very hard <laughs> in a wooded ass it. area. It in like 20 seconds. Exactly. <laughs> it's just like perfect. You can be like right by the water. You, you can literally sleep in this. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you don't have to pay for shit. This is shit. Yeah, imagine putting this, putting this up next to the Grand Canyon or giant-ass mountains at Glacier Park or some shit, dude. Or a better place. We have three if days. If we took that many days off, I could, we could literally go to, like, the Smoky Mountains or something. Oh, shit. Like, nobody wants to be a millionaire because... Everybody just wants to be do millionaire things, like scuba diving, skydiving, traveling around the world. That's what they want to do. They don't necessarily like really want the money. But, like imagine making like decent amount of money, but having like unlimited time and having enough money to go do these things. You know, like that's true. That's being truly rich. Omen boy, promised you I'd mention you. Thanks for the support right from the first vlog. Um, I also mentioned Platinum Wolf. Just a couple comments uh, from the very first vlog. So thanks for the support right from the start. That's really the starting point. Right back at it. Doing a little uh, shoulders and uh, biceps today. Back to the uh, physical aspect of uh, hustle. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right.
away to my farm. Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, having a wonderful time. Alright, so the following clip is of my friend Brad um, talking about Casey Neistat. Um, and pretty much he's a famous YouTuber. And he's pretty much talking about how he stopped daily vlogging. Um, and it was one of those things to where he announced it in a video. And he was like one of our big inspirations. So that's him. this is him pretty much talking about um, what, he, what his thoughts are on him ending um, his vlog, and I even throw in some of my f thoughts too. Look who it is. Vlog. Hell oh, yeah. Say hi. This is Brad. This is the oh, dude. There we go. This is the man. You know it. You know it. CEO of the Storybook Factory. CEO of the Storybook Factory. Right here. He's the one that got us into getting hammocks too. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Did you get yours yet? Yeah. Oh. No. Okay, so like, here's the thing I can't stand about Casey. So the guy freaking took one of the hardest things you could do on YouTube, daily vlogging, and he, he decided to do that because it was a challenge, okay? It was like a creative challenge. Yeah. But then he's like, oh, I'm done. It's too easy for me now. It's like, like <laughs> one of the hardest things to do on YouTube. And, and he's like, he found a way to make it easy. And then he's like moving on to the next big challenge. Like good for him. Like that's freaking. But awesome. I mean, like I'm still excited because I feel like he has something up his sleeve. Like whatever he was saying, has something new he's oh, gonna exactly. do. Yeah, he's I'm always... excited for that. <laughs> Make sure I give you the right one. Okay. Because I got you. Thank you. It's okay. You guys have a good night. Thank you. You too. You want some? The last biscuit. You want this? Bro, last time we came here, we had to switch cards. I know, we gotta make sure. It's fine, it's true. Alright, right on, right on, right on. Leave her a nice tip. Leave her a dollar fifty. Leave her a nice tip. Okay. Right? Yeah. I just go my way, living every day. Yeah, I, I left my number for the uh, waitress. Thought she was really pretty and really nice, and that's that. So, I think that's gonna be it for the vlog today. Um, I just actually just been sitting here and editing a little bit of it. Um, so I'm probably gonna spend the rest of the night, finish the vlog up, and then read a little bit of this book. <sighs> you know it. And I might actually play a little bit of video games because I haven't played video games in a couple days and I've actually been really enjoying Battlefield 1. So thanks you thanks for watching. So in five seconds I'm gonna have new hair. One. <gasps> there it is.